guys welcome back to our channel walk and talk with jesus this is saumya i trust you're all doing well um i really pray and hope that you enjoyed all our previous videos um this year that came with the word of encouragement uh, with the new perspectives to look into our lives so, uh, before we um go ahead and start this video um uh, guys it is really needed at this point that we should pray for ukraine and uh, we should pray for all other countries you know for the peace of the lord to be upon us and for his wisdom to take the next steps and praying for the leaders in ukraine praying for the families and soldiers that are taking up their lives and being faithful to their country and uh, um and i believe that it is the time that we will and we should come even more closer to the lord um cause we can only face this and do this only one way and that is god's way and we only know that when we have that intimate relationship with him so this week uh one of my favorites <laughs> um miss jessica is going to bring uh, the word of encouragement and she is uh, an ordained uh, uh, prophet in our church um, such a sweet 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 heart and soul she has um, just like she looks beautiful her inner side is also beautiful for me personally she has been there you know um in last in last couple of seasons she she was there um interceding and investing in me if i have to talk anything about miss jessica um i could just say that she is an expression of love um she she just pours that love upon anybody uh just like you know she loves her own own people her own family like she 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 does that and she's very good at making you feel comfortable you know you might not know her until now but i'm sure that when you see her on this video you will feel the same what i felt um that is one of the beautiful gifts that she's got and um, so uh, without any further delay let's listen to what god is bringing through her um and and not just listen to it but grasp it absorb it and and uh, try to live accordingly and and i recommend to go back and listen to this video again and again over and over so that this will be you know uh, printed in our hearts uh, and uh, we could just do life accordingly well hello precious brothers and sisters i'm so thankful and delighted our beautiful sonia asked for a contribution of a prophetic word this year and this is what i heard the lord say let me give you a scripture Genesis 21, 6, and it says, And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter, and all who hear about this will laugh with me. So in the ever-changing difficulties that we've had last year and even the previous year, the Lord this year would remind us <clears throat> what we are in need of. And this year, it's the ministry of Him, Him ministering to us, now, yes, there are absolutely times that we minister to him, but this year is the focus of Holy Spirit intentionally healing our souls, intentionally healing our emotions, our mind, um, our mindsets, and even physical bodies. He wants to bring us into shift. Um, it's time to prepare our minds for that shift, and it's time for joy, deep and liberating joy. When we have been like Abraham and Sarah, who got stuck in a dust cloud, and as they were exploring the new territory, they grew weary and waiting. And they even became bitter at times, if you remember some of the servants that were with them and how they treated them. They needed a fresh wind and a fresh breath of pioneering with our God of starting and birthing a new thing with the Lord and a new mindset to do it. And many of us have found ourselves stale, um, or I'll, I'll give a hand up, kind of like stagnant, um, because some things in our lives are, are indeed coming to an end, and we haven't been able to see what is ahead. And that's part of why Samya is creating these moments to give you a vision, to give you something to streamline all of us as the body of Christ what is going on so that we have a mark to hit and a resonance with each other and knowing what God is doing. Yes. Um, so we wait for the new promise for the new season. Abraham and Sarah received a word that Sarah would give birth in her old age. 
and through the adjustments and the preparing to shift, they mended the hurts with God's interventions with them and awaited the birth of Isaac. And here is the shift. In the Hebrew, if you're a good theologian, you know that Isaac means laughter. So when that day came, it says that Abraham and his wife, Sarah, received joy. So let's just take a moment to breathe that in, right? You and I were made to receive the joy of the Lord. Some of us have forgotten that, and we need a reminder. <laughs> That joy, that Isaac, that laughter is our portion in our inher in our, excuse me, and in our inheritance. And sometimes we can get so sober that we lose the joy of our salvation. Yeah? Anybody been there? So if you need to right now, you know, by yourself or with others in the room, you know, lay hands on yourself and remember, take a deep breath, remember that joy and laughter is your inheritance in this season. That is your promise. You were made to receive that from the Lord, the outpouring of God's laughter. Let me throw you a few scriptures. Nehemiah 8.10, is not the joy of the Lord our strength? Anyone needing strength? Psalm 30.11, isn't it God who turns our mourning into dancing? and clothes us with joy. Proverbs 15, 15, isn't each day a promised feast for those with a happy heart? And I propose to you that this is not something that we passively wait for, but it's something that we stir up inside of us with Holy Spirit, the expectations of this year. In the good to come, we're gonna purpose in our hearts to celebrate and shout. And in the hard to come, we're going to purpose to be joyful. And in spiritual warfare, we're going to imitate our God who sits on his throne and laughs at the schemes of the enemy and who, in effect, disempowers them. Amen. How powerful and good is laughter. For those who have wept, we are entering into a time of healing and to laugh, right? Is not laughter good medicine for our souls? Luke 6 21 I declare in the name of Jesus that the promise of our great Lord is indeed fulfilling over you Job 8 21 he will once again precious one he will once again fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy so 422 as we continue to glorify God and face the trials that bring us in partnership close with Christ and to bear fruit as his disciples and to really, really abide in his love and relationship as Emily was talking about earlier. May we see the ways of God, how he heals us and how he shifts us and how above all he imparts his joy for us, for your fullness and for my fullness, for your promise for your Isaac. Your prophetic promises will not only liberate you, but all who hear of the work of the Lord in your lives will laugh with you, just as we open like Sarah did. Allow the Lord to minister to you, to shift your mindset, to prepare you for the new thing that you will do as you pioneer great adventures in 2022. Be blessed. Thank you so much for staying until now and listening to everything uh, that Ms. Jessica had to say um, through the Holy Spirit. Um, so I believe that this was encouraging to you. Let's focus on that and let's claim what God has for us and let not enemy loot it from us, y'all. Um, so just join us in prayers and please comment down below if there is anything that we need to pray for you or if there is anything that Lord is telling you to share right here. We are ready to hear from you guys. We are ready to learn. Um, so please uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and uh, share this with your family or friends. It is much needed at this point of time and this could be one of those little ministries that God is asking you to do and calling you to do. So just share this with your family, friends and neighbors and whoever, your colleagues and uh, just be a blessing uh, to them and for us as well, you know, because uh, that will give us little hope and encouragement. 
and if you like the video just like it <laughs> so um, this is all we got for you guys and we will get back to normal from next week and hope to see you soon you all have a blessed day bye